jackass on me, please! Big man! <laughs> Where you going, tough guys? But you can't feel anything! Uh. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Yeah, Thank fine. God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisureware off your back. And if we don't, 
Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, why, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael. You'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the FIB building, parking lot entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that gonna get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a... We can't let the cops trace us to the FIB building. Lose them. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. We'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds good.
Here we are. Let's wait for him. Here we go. Nope. So what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's it? That's not it. So what do we do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. Then maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Something's coming. This is not the car we're looking for. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Ooh, what's this? Uh, not our guy. There she is. You know the drill. A couple of car lengths. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. Now, let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation, and maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. He's gone left there, you see? He's taking the next left.
He's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. Go in and have a word. Harvey Molina. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. He's pulling up. Park down the block. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. You got another one of those, Harvey? Successful? Oh, yeah. We gotta go back to my office. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. Bay, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, he's already here. Hey, what's the problem?
Mom said she was at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, s stuff? I no, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Oh, okay. Here they are. Fabian, too? Oh, what a treat. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little... Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write... I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another hey, tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on Fame or Shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Now, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of, okay, if you know what I mean. Here's the tattoo shop. Hey, you should let me tap that, baby. You thought it was a picture of two new puppies. Hey, gorgeous. I'm looking for something hip that, you know... Come on, just off the top. Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah, oh, ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, are you fucking psycho? Ah, 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 ow! Oh, oh, oh that looks... Uh, that, that's, a, that's a clean needle, right? I don't need more hep C. Ugh. Just so you know, I've got a beachwear photo shoot next week. Ugh. Don't fucking squirm! Uh, how about I throw those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Ah, there we go. You fucking asshole, I'm a celebrity! Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew, are you serious? Come on! Oh! Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats oh. yoga. <laughs> Literally. Whoa! Like Fabian? Around the head with a laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bat him. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're smacked to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. Hey, hey! Do it, Dad! Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off! Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I gotta you douche! The prescriptions I need, at least for the meantime. Thank you.
Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. You know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people, and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? So, will you drive us home? You know, there was a moment there. I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go, you know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I... I'm saying you're right. Idiot! Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our death, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB, that monster Trevor? There's no explaining. Wait! No explaining, Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Kids? Oh. Oh. Last one standing. Again. 